Go through it again. What happened that day? How many times do we have to go through this? Until I feel we've made progress. Currently we haven't, so let's hear it. It was a cold day. I, I went on a walk. Hey baby, just calling to let you know that I'm on my way home. I miss you, I love you, I'll see you soon. Why did you pick the flower? That's a stupid question. I'm full of stupid questions. Now let's hear a not stupid answer. <laughs> I picked it for Belle. She always loved when I would bring her flowers. Continue from when you picked the flower. I was almost home. What did you see? I don't remember. What's the first thing you can remember from that point? Talking to the police. I remember the ambulance coming in. They didn't even seem rushed or anything. They just kind of took her out, put her in a bag like she was a bunch of meat, and then threw her in the back of the ambulance. John, every week we have these sessions. Every week we go through what happened that day, and every week you leave out an important detail. And what would that be exactly? On August 1st, 2019, you grabbed a knife from your kitchen and stabbed your wife, Belle, 52 times, killing her. You then went on a walk, called her, left a message. You grabbed a flower and walked home, after which you called the police to report someone had killed your wife. Three days later, you were arrested for the murder. Months later, you were sent here, the Institute for the Criminally Insane, which you have been ever since. That's all the time we have for today, John. I'll see you next week. John, before you go, do you know who killed your wife? No.